Hey everybody. Today I'd like to talk about the new ER. Um, they've been out for about a year now. But the F4 controllers, the F4, CGM, 90, 90, and 4060 controllers, and their, their benefits. These controllers are replacing the FX PCG controllers. Uh, PCG 2611, PCG 1611. Uh, they get an extra input, you know? So the 9090 has seven universal inputs two binary inputs, three binary outputs, four configurable outputs, and two dedicated uh, analog outputs, as long as with the SA bus. Um, and the smaller controller, the one that replaces the 1630, you get three universal inputs, one binary input, uh, two binary outputs, and four configurable outputs. Okay. Uh, but the, the best thing about these is the system memory. Let me show you. I just did a large multi-zone program, right? And this is for a PCG series controller, 2611 IO modules. I have enough IO to cover all the, the points. But look at my system capacity. 138. You would never want to load this into the controller. This is a eight zone, multi zone. And I've, I've come across this before and I've always had to split it. I've had to have a controller for to run the air handler part of itself and maybe two or three zones and then have another controller running the other five zones. And it just it never works out well. Your your peer to peer sharing, your there's, there's stuff that can go wrong, and I hate doing that. I'd rather have it all on one controller. So this is an option. But let me save this. I'll save multi zone. Okay, so now let me. Close that, change my release mode to 10.5. Guys, I don't know if you, I've talked about this, but you never, ever, ever, ever want to use 10.4. It's, uh, it's full of firmware bugs. So 10.2 is the last uh, mode that you can use any PCG controllers. And then you want to go to 10.5. I think 10.6 is out now. I don't have it. I'll get it here shortly, but if we go to open, guys, this is how you upgrade a cat file. So I just built that cat file in 10.2. I got to open it. I'm going to get this error. What we want to do is upgrade it to 10.5. I hit continue. Remember, the system uses was at 138. Let's see what it goes down to now. Da, da, da. Artificial device. We want to choose a 9090. Okay. Yes. Thinking. All right, it kept uh, the same I/O, but we did the ninety ninety. If we wanted to, we can get rid of all these I/Os and go with the newer ones. Johnson's made it easy. The new ones are uh, XPM 9090s, right? And then I probably need, what, three? Let's go with four of those. And I want to start an index of four. Boom. 
close. But look at my, now look at my capacity. 69%. It's the same CAT file. Eight zones. It's exactly the same programming. But these newer controllers have a better processor and can handle more of the capacity. So 69%, that's fine. We can dump this program in there where we couldn't dump it in the old PCGs. So that's the biggest uh, advantage to the new F4 controllers. And it comes in a um, IP line too, if you're into that. Uh, the IP line is a CVE F4 Charlie Victor Echo. Uh, but uh, the CGM is the MSTP version. Let's see the CVEs on here. That must be in the newer, uh, it must be why we have the newer releases. So I definitely don't see the CVEs in here. Well, eh, not a problem on my end. I don't do much with the IP controllers. But this would be the same because it's the same processing chip. So that's how I feel about uh, the newer controllers are really like the controllers. There's only two of them. It's 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 not like other vendors that have different varieties, uh, sizes of controllers. Johnson only has two on the new ones. Uh, the 9090 and the 4060. Obviously, 4060 is for a small rooftop, single zone rooftop. Uh, you're not going to use it much more than that, or a fan cool unit, if you have a fan cool unit. But the, the 9090 is a, a very powerful uh, controller. You can do anything you want with it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.